my name is Apia, uh, and I chose to do a guide to making soap for my project. The reason I chose this project is because like soap seems like, like kind of a bit of an unnatural thing that like not many people like talk about, and I just thought it could be fun to learn a bit more about it since it's not really a it's kind of an uncommon topic. Um, in my studies, I learned that um, some people think, think that soap got its name, name from um, the Roman mountain in Mount Mount Supo. In Latin, Supo means soap. Um, the first soap was made by the uh, Amy around um, uh, two, two, uh, two, <laughs> 2800 BC. Um, so, as for washing, washing things and cle keeping them cleanse, um, in my case, I was kind of trying to make more of a body soap or like hand soap. Um, uh, People consider soap important because, as like, if we didn't have soap, you'd probably be getting a lot of like bacteria uh, and stuff and, and things, and that's like could get you sick really, really quickly. And so it's important for us to have soap so that that we're not like getting like a whole bunch of germs. Mm. Uh, I think that people can make soap better if like. Uh, if by using less oils, because there's like a lot of different solid oils, so it'd be a lot more uh, nature friendly if we use less oils, and making it like a bit softer and smoother so that your hands don't get dry that as much. Um, this is my guide to making soap. The um, first, I put like the danger because um, there's in most soap recipes they include. So, um, a chemical called lye, and this chemical is very dangerous and flammable, and should not be handled by children. The materials needed to make soap is solid oils, kitchen scale, lye, and emol and, and mold if you want to make bar soap. Um, also, if you want to decorate it, you can also use um, like food dye or like scents. Um, first, the steps of making soap, you must first Melt and mix the solid oils together. Um, mix the water and the lye. Mix the oil, um, the oils with the lye water. If you want to color it, use food coloring. If you want to scent it, use the scent. And then uh, leave it to set for a little while. And then you put it in the mold if you want to make a shape. Um, some fun facts about soap. Are, oh, um, some fun facts about soap are that. Um, uh, yeah. Question. Question. Sophia, does the lye make the soap solid? Um, not quite sure what the lye does. I think the solid oils are what makes it solid. Um, I think you said the lye is flammable, right? Yes. So, it is. is there anything in soap in the soap recipe that can cause a fire? Um, if mixed with that incorrectly, perhaps. Um, I think if I was to say, I think the water and soap would probably like set out the fire. So, like if there was that possibility, yeah, I think, think the water would probably solve that problem. So, possibly, but the water would probably help with that. What are some possible ways you can customize soaps for different needs? What could you do? Uh, like, like are there different smells, different ingredients? Like, if you have bad oh, skin, like um, or popular smells and soap. Um, I did write a few scents down that you could use and different colors you could use, such as like uh. Some scents are like, like lavender scented head soaps, uh, rose, cucumber, avery, etc.
Um, there are also different types of colors, mm -hmm. but what I noticed is that most of the soap like colors like I don't know what exactly does this to them, but they always like kind of like turn out like a bit lighter, like lightish colors. So I, like like I kind of wrote down not like colors that I thought were like, kind of like light because most soap colors are light, and I think something thing in there maybe like the lye or like the solid oils make them um, like lighter. Okay. So, so yeah, as of like for skincare things, I don't exactly know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? All right.